Hey Wildcats, welcome to this week's Wildcat Weekly Update. I'm Caden Walls. And I'm Kayla Condry. Here's what's happening on campus this week. It's homecoming week and a lot is happening. Two musical events. On Thursday, the Red River Wind Symphony has a concert at 7 p.m. in Gwynn Auditorium. On Saturday, the Fall Chorale Experience is at 6 p.m. That features several guests including Melania White and the AHA Choir. Thursday is also the night for the big homecoming hoedown from 7 to 10 p.m. on the Alumni House lawn. There will be funnel cakes, musical games, a mechanical bowl, and prizes for the best dressed cowboy and cowgirl. The LCU Department of Arts Alumni Art Showcase starts Friday and runs through November 1st. The opening reception on Friday will be from 5 to 6 p.m. in the LCU Arts Gallery in WFAB. This year's artists are Clyde Downs and Ken Tracy. LCU Rec is holding a spike ball tournament on Friday. It starts at 2 p.m. on the Alumni House lawn. You need to register on IM Leagues by noon on Friday. Also on Friday, it's the homecoming bonfire sponsored by Res Life. It's from 8 to 10 p.m. on the Alumni House lawn. Along with the bonfire, there will be food, fun, and glow-in-the-dark t-shirt designing. The LCU Bookstore will have special sales this week. On 30 Thursday, you'll get 30% off one LCU item. On 40 Friday, you'll get 40% off. And on Saturday, you can get an LCU crew, hooded sweatshirt, or color changing cup for 25% off. They'll be open Saturday from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Saturday is the homecoming game, with the Wildcats hosting Texas College at 2 p.m. The homecoming parade is Saturday at noon on the LCU Circle. Also this week, why not eat a steak to support Wildcat Athletics? On Friday from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m., you can stop by Texas Roadhouse in Alexandria. Tell them you're here from LCU and 10% of your total food purchases will be donated to the LCU Wildcats. It's that time of year again, advising. Senior advising started on Monday, junior advising starts next Monday, that's followed by sophomore advising on the 28th and the freshman advising on November 4th. You'll advise under your current classification. If you're planning to graduate in December, you need to submit your application for that now. And when you register, the LCU Music Department wants you to consider unleashing your musical talents. You can enroll in singing, piano, or guitar lessons for the spring semester. Here's a way to help those in need. The Honors Colloquium class is holding a food drive from now until November 22nd. Just look for the bin set up around campus where you could donate food items. They'll go to our campus blessing boxes to help people in our community. If you're interested in joining the Psychology Club, check out one of their upcoming meetings. The next one is this Thursday in Alexandria Hall, room 228, or you can contact Molly Wise for more information. Don't forget to attend the LCU Health Fair next Thursday, October 24th. It's happening from 10 a.m. until noon in Granbury. You can get up to two culture credits for attending the fair and donating blood through LifeShare. Don't forget to bring your student ID. The search for Bigfoot. It's coming to LCU. On Friday, October 25th, Union Board presents Finding Bigfoot. It will start at 8 p.m. in the game room and take you around campus as part of a scavenger hunt. Teams from two to five people can compete. You can sign up for the contest in Student Life. With Halloween right around the corner, here's a couple events you don't want to miss. LCU Rec is having a pumpkin carving contest. It's happening Wednesday, October 30th at 8 p.m. You can have three to five people on your team. Your pumpkin will be judged on creativity, the Halloween factor, and being precise. They'll also have snacks and prizes for the winners. And on Halloween night is the return of Grand Brewery. Head out to Grand Brewery at 7.30 that Thursday for music, dancing, and food. There are prizes for the best male, female, duo, and group costumes. Come dress as your favorite Halloween villain. If you enjoy playing pickleball, here's a way you can benefit the Hope House of Central Louisiana. LCU Social Work is hosting a pickleball fundraising tournament. It's happening on November 2nd at 10 a.m. at Trinity Baptist Church in Pineville. Cost is $50 per team. You need to sign up by October 26. You can text 318-403-1827 to get signed up. November 13th is National Kindness Day. LCU Psychology Club is holding Random Acts of Kindness Bingo. To participate, you need a team of three people. The first team to have a blackout will win a prize. Are you the next LCU Chess Master? Come find out by joining the LCU Chess Club. Their next meeting is October 31st at 11.30 a.m. in room 109 underneath Gwynn Auditorium. You don't need to have any previous chess playing experience. Come learn how to play. For more information, you can email ward.allen at lcuniversity.edu. Wildcat Improv is looking for new members. If you have a quick wit, big energy, and a love for comedy, come join their Laugh Out Loud troupe. No prior experience is necessary. You just need to unleash your funny side. For more information, scan the QR code or email Zachary Johnson. Now let's send it to Seth Bynog with Wildcats Media Sports for a look at what's going on in Wildcat Athletics. 
What's up Wildcats? Here's what's happening on campus this week in LCU Sports. The LCU football team gets back in the win column with a 31-10 victory at North American. Senior Daylon Charles rushed for 202 yards and three touchdowns, and Logan Brimmer had two and a half sacks. The Wildcats are now 2-2 two two in conference play. They host Texas College Saturday at 2 p.m. in the homecoming game. There were split results for the LCU soccer teams this week. The men started their week with a 3-0 win over Texas A&M Texarkana on Thursday. It came as the Wildcats moved up to number 25 in the latest NAIA soccer polls. But on Saturday, the Wildcats suffered their first conference loss of the season, 6-1 against LSU Shreveport. The Wildcats look to bounce back this week when they host Houston Tillotson Thursday at 7.30 p.m on senior night. On Saturday, they face Houston Victoria at Johnny Down Sports Complex at, in Alexandria at 3.30. A similar story for the women's soccer team. Emma Monet's two goals giving the women a 2-0 win Thursday over Texarkana. But on Saturday, a 3-1 loss to LSU Shreveport was also their first conference loss of the season. The ladies get back at it Thursday night with their senior night matchup against Houston Tillotson at 5 p.m. And then Saturday, they're also in Alexandria to face Houston Victoria at 1 p.m. LCU Volleyball with another tough week on the road, the women dropping back-to-back -back matches at Our Lady of the Lake University in San Antonio. Both matches were 3 to nothing scores. They'll look to get back on the winning track this weekend. They host Jarvis Christian with matches at HOS Friday at 7 p.m. and Saturday at noon. Finally, LCU Tennis is back in action this week. The women play at the Dillard Invitational Friday and Saturday in New Orleans. Your LCU Student Athletes of the Week for this week are Dalen Charles from football and Emma Monet from women's soccer. For more scores and information, follow the LCU Wildcats accounts on Facebook, X, and Instagram at lcwildcats.net. That's a look at sports. I'm Seth Bynock. Back to you at the desk. Thanks, Seth. If you need anything to be announced in the Wildcat Minute, please email wildcatweekly at lcuniversity.edu two weeks before the event so we can make announcements in a timely manner. Be sure to follow us at Wildcats Media on Facebook, Instagram, and X to keep up with what our Wildcats Media News team is covering during the semester. And don't forget to check out the KZLC Morning Show weekdays at 7.30 a.m. on 95.5. For Wildcats Media News, I'm Kayla Condry. And I'm Caden Walls. I'll see you later. later.